What's up guys, Dave here from thegadgetbook.com and today we're going to be showing you our top 10 hidden features within iOS 9. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So iOS 9 is a big improvement from iOS 8 from the betas that we've been playing around with and we're very impressed with it. So we're going to show you some features that Apple didn't show you within their keynote. So when you're running low on juice on your iPhone and you get to around 20%, you do get a little notification. Now Apple have included a little toggle here where you can actually enable low power mode. Now there's not an actual toggle for low power mode in control center, so it's quite nice to see when your battery is running low. So Apple have also included a new scrolling feature within iOS 9. Now you can actually go onto the space bar, swipe it with two fingers and have the ability to copy and paste, scroll and select text. It does get a bit fiddly, but when you get the hang of it and you know what you're doing, it works really nice. Something else that we found useful was the six digit passcode. If you jump into touch ideal within the settings panel, you'll be able to change your password and you have the option to enter a six digit passcode. It's something nice to see as we found four digits wasn't enough and six just hits the spot. So for all you photographers out there, if you wanted to change the resolution of your recordings, now there's an option for that. In the settings panel under photos and camera, you can now choose your resolution of your recordings. You can also have the ability to change the slow motion resolution as well. So the keyboard in iOS 9 shows lower keys, now if you want to change this to capitalise characters in the accessibility tab in the settings, you'll find keyboards panel. Go ahead and turn off show lower keys and you'll be able to get a capitalised keyboard. So something that's new in iOS 9 is that you have the ability to change the functionality of the switch above the volume rockers. You can now make it lock your orientation instead of muting your device or the other way around. Just jump into the settings app under general, use slide to switch to and choose what you would like. In iOS 9 there are a lot of settings, so Apple decided to add a search bar in the settings application, so it's great and useful when you want to search for anything such as Bluetooth, your Wi-Fi network or anything like that. And it also saves you time loading up the settings application and going through all the lists. So a new feature that we found in iOS 9 that was quite useful is that we can search for a contact in search and call them directly from there. So Apple also added a new scrubber for photos and videos through your photos application. Now you can actually scroll through videos and photos and it makes it more fast and precise when you're trying to look for that specific photo. So the back tap feature is really useful. For example, if you've got a Twitter notification and you want to go back to the app that you was using, there'll be a little button in the top left corner saying back to the specific application. So that's about it for this video guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the like button, they're always appreciated. And don't forget to check out all the links in the description and as always we'll catch you in the next video.